Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Now today, bitch, it's been a minute. The Star Wedding Collection hit, and then Miss Thing, I vanished, I went on Instagram, I went on TikTok, and girl, I've been doing a lot of reviews on other platforms. I have been doing this for a very long time, so I uploaded a review of the new Lady Gaga House Labs Foundation. This has been highly requested. I uploaded the review on TikTok, and a lot of you here were like, you stupid we need it here! So I am here to give you a more in-depth review of this foundation. Now, I bought this by myself. I did not get the PR. I have tried this foundation once. The results, they were, uh, they were, I was shook. So if you have not seen my TikTok review, bitch, saddle up, get in your seat, and it's time to review Lady Gaga's House Labs Foundation. All right, you guys, so let's talk about it. Miss Lady Gaga has a brand new revamp of her brand. She was on Amazon, and if you remember years ago, I reviewed it in the Michigan house. Lady Gaga had just launched her brand on Amazon, and now, you guys, she had ended that deal. Um, there's a full revamp, the packaging, the team, everything is different, and baby, I commend her because, bitch, everyone deserves a second chance. This is what? The packaging looks like no more black. Everything is fully white. It's very clean. The logo is here. Now, looking at my notes, you guys, they have over 50 shades, which is commendable for a brand to spend that high budget. How are ya? Let's dive into the details. Of course, it's liquid. It's a natural finish. It's long wearing. Um, it's gonna give you a medium coverage. It's hypoallergenic. And we're supposed to shake this bitch before use. So girl, we're gonna give her a really big shake. Now this does have skincare benefits inside of it. It says just to shake well, blend onto clean moisturized skin. They also came with a brush. Now I did mention this brush is over $30, you guys. It, it's giving a little Morphe, it's giving a little Elf. So is the brush necessary? Of course not, but I bought everything so we can play fair and square. I also have a damp beauty sponge right here. So we're gonna just try both on my skin and you guys can see how the fuck it blends. Now, when I uploaded this little sneak peek review on Instagram, Lady Gaga commented and said, Hi, <laughs> that was really cool for her to give me a shout out. Um, I know that she knows I've been reviewing makeup for a long time and Miss Gaga, you're that bitch. All right, you guys, here we go. Now I am shade 160 light neutral. Notice you guys, I am very tan. I used to be like a ghost. I'm outside every day. Um, so hi, this is the new me. Also you guys, if you haven't seen me in a while, I have eyebrows. Sometimes I have facial hair. I dissolved all my lip filler. I'm eating really great food now. I stopped eating fast food. She's gained weight. So baby, I am just living my full fantasy out here in Wyoming. Okay, so we're gonna use the brush. Now, this foundation, you guys, there's so many shades. This is $45 retail. At first, I was a little skeptical about the price, but bitch, you guys will see. See that swipe? <gasps> yes. It looks almost scary at first. Like, girl, are you sure that's your fucking color? I swear when it dries, you guys, I was shook. Look at that. Woo! The finish on this formula is amazing. There's skincare benefits in here, of course. It is very skin-like. And you see how to, as it starts to blend, I actually don't mind the brush. I love that it's synthetic, obviously, for foundation, so it's gonna not soak up the liquid. Wow. See, I know at first you bitches thought, oh, that color was a little shady on him. It blends in like a dream. Like, I was so shook. I did not know what to expect when I put this on my skin for the first time. Look at that, you guys. Holy shit. Now, I didn't do this in my other review. Let's take the Beauty Blender and let's put some foundation on her and let's see if it looks the same because we all know this will soak up some of the product. So, here we go. Anyone taking these through TSA yet? A lot of people ask me, are those legal? There's no sharp edge. I don't want to cut. <laughs> There's no sharp edge. And TSA loves them. It's a really good opening conversation starter. All right, baby, let's blend. Ooh. I really think I found my perfect match. I'm looking in the monitor and I'm like, wow, bitch. <laughs> Good morning. Okay, wow. You guys know when I love a product, baby, I love a product. I have not set this yet, there's no concealer, but here is the House Labs Foundation. Now the foundation has a very long name. It's the Triclone Skin Tech Medium Coverage Foundation with Fermented 
Our Nika. So there's also a powder, you guys. Like, this foundation's stunning. Like, I mean, hello. Let's, do we even need to get to the end of the video to see that? It's absolutely beautiful. But here's the thing, you guys. A lot of you wanted to see the wear test. How does it look after an hour? How does it look after five hours? Well, baby, you're about to find out. So let's get the face together so we can get to that moment. So, okay, foundation girl. You're that girl so far. Let's put a little concealer on. Let's blend it and see how it looks on top of the foundation. We all know sometimes concealers don't work over foundation. Um, you know, sometimes a formula flops. So let's try Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Magic Star Concealer. <laughs> if my formula and Gaga's formula don't mix, we're gonna have a problem. I am using shade C5. Now you guys, I'm very tan. So this is gonna be really brightening. And we're just gonna use a little bit, okay? We don't wanna take it overboard. All right, let's blend this out. Okay, we all know this is bright. I chose a very bright color. We should've went with C7, but baby, it's all good. We're gonna blend and put powder on the face. I actually love a bright concealer. This is looking absolutely beautiful over the foundation. Now my concealer does have some skincare benefits as well. Okay, so House Labs, they also have a setting powder. This is what it looks like. I got shade translucent. This is the bio blurring talc free loose setting powder retailing for $38. Of course, this is all a Sephora exclusive now. There is five shades. This is a light coverage. It's a clean formula. It's vegan. It's cruelty free and bitch. We're going to try it right now. The finish is supposed to be natural. So let's open her up. I love the H on the packaging. I think it's different. So many people just use a flat top like girl. Try with your packaging, and they actually tried. I think it's cute. I mean, the unicorn, it did put me asleep a little bit, not gonna lie, like, hi, it's a white box, but the packaging itself, I actually enjoy. Whoa, I'm used to, like, all the powder coming out. That's not happening here. Is that what that sifter's for? Oh, I love that innovation, so it's not spilling everywhere. So we're gonna press the sponge. Oh, and there it's coming out. Amazing idea. And we're just gonna go right under the eye on this side of my face. And let's see if we love or hate. Oh, look at the difference. Like, she's blurred, bitch. There's the side with no powder. And here is House Labs. <laughs> okay. I mean, first impressions, it's like, oh, <laughs> I really like it. Okay, let's do the side. Now, there was not a powder brush. I'm sure they're about to launch a lot of stuff, but I am using my damn beauty sponge, which I love to do. All right, you guys, here is my face with the powder. Now, I didn't put it everywhere. I just put it where the concealer was. I am gonna lightly put some powder on a few spots like I normally would in every video since the start of this channel, but I don't wanna really cover the foundation. So we're just gonna lightly tap and set. How are we feeling about the foundation? Do you guys love it? hate it, do you wanna slap me across my face? Now we are gonna do a wear test today. I did not do one before. Oh my God, the fact that I have eyebrows now is fucking nuts. So I found this little Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel and it's in shade Blonde. I wish it was lighter, but you guys, this is so quick on the go. Let's just do a quick little five minute bam. All right, Miss Jaclyn Cosmetics launched these, what are they called, the Pressed Bronzers and this is shade Vitamin D, okay? Very fitting for me. They smell amazing, by the way. <sighs> and then let's use the Morphe Jaclyn Hill 06 brush because I love the way this is shaped. She made this years ago. It just sweeps it on effortlessly. Like, oh my God. And I love it. This formula is fucking sickening. So Jaclyn, you have a hit with this bronzer. It's very light, it's buildable. It doesn't give you that brown streak right away where you wanna fucking scream. I love a good bronzer. All right, you guys, let's finish this face and I'll be right back. How do we feel about the foundation? Let me apply this right now. And before everyone asks, um, this liquid eyeshadow by this sickening brand called Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Okay, it's so fucking good. This is Toss My Bouquet. You swipe it on the lid, you literally take up, where's the brush? Bam, five second makeover. Here we go. We're doing Fuck Proof Mascara, the best formula for tubing mascara. But you guys, the foundation's incredible. I'm about to go to dinner, so we'll film inside the restaurant. We'll see how my skin looks. But so far, so good. All right, let's go to Fire Rock. Oh, hello, is this thing on? I may be a little unstable, but hi, you guys. I'm in the bathroom right now. <laughs> no one's in here. Um, we're looking at the foundation, you guys. 
This is the new iPhone 14 Pro Max. It's very clear. Um, it's holding up good. Look at this foundation, you guys. Like, I am living. Um, I just had some amazing food. I am so full. And what do we think? Be honest, you guys. Now, hi, no Botox gets you a little wrinkles. Not even ashamed of it. This is me, bitch. The new fucking Jeffrey. Kind of plastic, but a little real. <laughs> so what do we think? I think it looks fabulous. Should we go ask someone random? Come on. Okay, okay so hi. What do you think of my foundation? I'm testing Lady Gaga's new foundation. Do I look ugly? Do I look, look great. Does it look good? Does it look smooth? Does it look hideous? What do we think? It looks nice and hydrated. It looks very glowy. Yeah, it looks it's good. very skin-like. You Can we ask you this question? How does my skin look? I'm reviewing a new foundation. What do we think? It's Lady Gaga's new house labs. I really like it. What do we think? Foundation's good? Dance knows all the fun. Yes, you do? <gasps> oh my god. Yes. All right, I think it looks pretty good. Look at the camera quality in this iPhone. Oh, it's nuts. Holy shit. Okay, bye. <sighs> okay. <laughs> bye, you guys. It's late at night. <gasps> Uncle Drizzle. He's like, what are all these lights? Look at him, he just woke up from a nap. Hi, Pumpkin. Hi, guys. Okay, I had to turn the camera on myself. I'm in my own little setup at my house. So let's, we're zooming in right now. We're looking at the face, baby. Oh my God. Okay, so this foundation has been on for about, I wanna say eight hours. It feels amazing. It's not cracking. I don't know what sorcery is in here, but holy shit, you guys. And then the powder, I mean, let, let's give our final thoughts right now. I do have one motherfucking thing to say right now. The House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation is Jeffree Star approved. Yes. Now, this foundation is absolutely gorgeous. It's stunning. It's beautiful. It's very skin-like. I feel like nothing is on my face. It's actually amazing. Now, the powder, first of all, the brush actually worked, but it's a synthetic brush. You do not need to pay over $30 for this. Absolutely not. The powder I thought was good. It actually was blurring, um, but I've seen powders that blurred more. So do we need a powder for that expensive price point? I don't really think so. It actually worked good though. So if you need a new powder, bitch, try this thing. I thought the packaging was great. Formula, so-so. It was cute, but not like, wow. The foundation, it's a wow, you guys. Holy shit. All right, Ms. Gaga, you definitely have a hit on your hands and I'm very excited to see what you and the team create next. So, thanks guys. <laughs> it's been a journey and I really appreciate you guys missing makeup reviews. I have been doing this for such a long time and I miss filming them as well. So it feels good to be here and back and I'll see y'all on the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.